So you may know I use Apple devices. Um, not a fan of Android, but I still use Linux. So I need access to iCloud. So in the past, I've written my own iCloud app with Native Fire, which uh, I can show you how to do in the link in the description, but that's a complicated process. So in this video, we're gonna cover the other method of accessing iCloud, which is just the, there's a Snap app, the Notes app, which you can use to access iCloud, and we're gonna go over installing that. So to do that, you need to open up a terminal, you can search for iCloud, and uh, if we look here, we can see the iCloud Notes client, which I was just talking about. It lets you access iCloud, and it's programmed to only access the notes, but actually, because of how Apple makes their stuff, you can access everything. So to install this, you would do sudo snap install iCloud, and let it download and install and mount and everything. And then from, from there, once it's done, uh, we can do iCloud Notes, we can open that up. Once the iCloud Notes app opens up, you can see the sign-in window and you can also see a icon in the system tray. All you gotta do is log into your Apple ID, so I'm going to do that. From there, you must approve a two-factor authentication code. Once you okay the code, you can click Trust and you can access, and as I said before, it will start automatically into your notes and it will give you access to your notes. And uh, you can see, this is my notes that I use on my iPhone and uh, on my desktop and such, but this isn't the only thing you can do because of how the app is built, because of how iCloud works. You can tap this little button here and you also, you can go straight to Launchpad, which gives you access to your calendar, you know, pages. We can go to Reminders and uh, pretty much anywhere you want to go to. You can go to Keynote even, like all the stuff that iCloud gives you access to normally, like uh, on a Mac or whatever, you can access on Linux through the Snap app. And uh, it's a good it's a good Snap package if you don't want to deal with building the, the uh, Natifier application, but if you don't want it to always start up in Notes, you can also try the iCloud application that I that I wrote out in the article in the description. But this is how you access iCloud on Linux. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.